So this morning, we've got a mother-daughter duo joining us. They've spent years working together to give back to the Houston community. Let's introduce you to them now. Uh, we've got mom, Danae Cromosta, and her Hi. daughter, Bella, with us. Good morning. How y'all doing? Good morning. Good. How are you? Well, I'm great. We want to have a little inspiration this morning. Um, mom, you're kind of leading the charge here. I um, am. From the time she was little, yeah. we've done a lot of charity events together. And even when she was a very small girl, instead of getting birthday gifts, I was suggesting we get donations to charities. So at, at the time, she might not I'm have so loved happy. it so much. Was that tough? I mean, your friends <laughs> yes. at that age are all getting gifts yes. and parties and things. What was that? Tell it me was about my, that. It was my um, Coco Chanel number no. five birthday, <laughs> and I did not get any gifts. I was quite upset. Mm -hmm. But where did it go to? Our friend Scarlett. Yes. Um, my mom's sorority sister from A&M, her daughter got cancer when I was seven years old. Or, yeah, yes, seven. So um, they started a foundation called the Scarlet Fund, and we gave donations to them for my birthday. Wow. So talk about some of the lessons that you must have learned then over yes. the years about giving back. Tell me about it. Um, so we would go to New York probably once every single month to go see her and we did an event for her and we were actually writing a book together at a time and uh, we donated all of the proceeds to the Scarlet Fund. My goodness. How does that make you feel giving back like that? I love it so much. I've like obviously as a high schooler struggled with like mental health issues and stuff yeah. like that and it's like giving back is definitely like one of my biggest passions yeah. because it's like you you're really giving back to yourself like it really helps i don't know it really inspires me to like give back to the community mom did you know that instinctively i mean that when you had this idea initially when she's a little little itty bitty and you're saying you know what this makes more sense than giving to her. Let's, let's give to somebody else together. How do you even come up with this? Where did this come from? Well, I think it doesn't have to be this grandiose scale like doing a book. It can be really basic. Like okay. she loves math and she's able to take that love of math and now she's tutoring kids that are struggling in math. And it's giving her a different perspective because I think a lot of times we get caught up in our daily lives of what we are struggling with or what our hard things are, which those things matter. But when you see other people that at, in at-risk communities or people who are refugees who've come to a different country and don't speak the language, it gives you a perspective in your own life. So it is interesting that you can feel fulfilled even though you're giving something away. And I feel like that's long-term what joy really is in life, is we can find those sustainable things. We love fashion, we love fun things, but these things are what really matter. Right, the material things are fleeting. Of they course are. they are, they aren't they? They can come and go. Now, you're involved with uh, the Greater Houston Community Foundation's Family Giving Circle. The Family Giving Circle. And what is that and how does that sort of play into what you guys do? So, um, each family that's a part of it makes a donation every semester and then the kids get to vote on what is important to them. And recently, maybe you can share with them, Bella, the different ideas and how you go through it and get to go to the locations. So for this um, school year, we decided to do youth homelessness. So we actually worked with Revision and the Coalition for the Homeless. And as a result of that, I've been going there on my Mondays and tutoring the kids in math and history and English and been spending my time there. No kidding, so uh, have you developed relationships through that, friends? Yes, and, yeah. I, I think it's like we talk about what's been going on at school for me and what they did on their weekends. And I think it allows them to find a way to like spend their time, to, it's like instead of spending their time like idling out, it's like they're, they're able to learn and be able to grow in their relationships. Yeah, and you still find time to do things for yourself, don't you? Yes. Like, what are you into? Sports, uh, arts, entertainment? Like Math. <laughs> <laughs> so you like math stream. on your own time, yes, is that right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, she's president of the math club and now the Math Honor Society. But um, she and her friends have fun and they go out and find things to celebrate yeah. in life, too. 
Bella, what, what advice would you have to somebody your age or maybe somebody a little younger who's, you know, has, wants to do something, wants to give back, and they don't even know where to start? What would you tell them? Um, it's always great to just give your time. I always felt like I needed to be, like, giving money or doing something like that. But, like, time, is, it's really worth it. And it, if, as long as you find something that you're passionate about, it's a great way to grow as a person as well. Beautiful. And uh, Danae, for, for parents out there, maybe I'm one of them who wants to encourage our kids to do more, to give back. Where do we start? Well, I think the Greater Houston Community Foundation is a great place. You can get plugged into things as a family because it's hard to, to know where to go sometimes or what, yeah. how you can create an outlet to get in the trenches and do it. And there is such a big, broad umbrella there. I started with them in my advocacy to fight trafficking. And the interesting thing is there's so many organizations that come together. Like we're, in addition to working with Revision, we're working with the Women's Fund in the fall to create an event to help young girls advocate for their health. So just by learning about different organizations, there's a way that you can plug in and then you can actually be involved in the trenches, meeting the people, getting the services. That is beautiful. And I hope folks are encouraged and we appreciate you both coming in today and, and sharing your story with us. Thanks for allowing us the time. Absolutely. And it's fun mother-daughter bonding because yes. all 16-year-old girls don't love spending time with their mom. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Exactly. What a way to, what a way to bond in a beautiful way too. Yes. And happy Mother's Day, by the Thank way, you. coming up this Thanks. week. Danae and Bella Cromosta, appreciate it.